Okay, today I'm going to do a video of the startup procedures for any multi, uh, APM based multi rotor. Um, we're just going to do the basic transmitter and power up and compass calibration, and we're going to go through the GPS flight modes. Uh, not going to fly it around a whole lot, probably do mostly just the hover, you know, stuff like that to kind of show how this works. I've also installed temporarily a, a telemetry module on this. Um, I was able to splice into a, 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 a socket, that, a plug that I had that goes into the data port of the FCS 800 flight controller and that gives you direct access without doing any modifications other than making you a wire uh, to telemetry and on-screen display if you wanted to run that on an 800. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the transmitter first and then within 10 seconds we'll get the power plugged in. I also use a low voltage battery buzzer on everything I, I fly. Um, these are really loud, they're very inexpensive. Uh, I set them at uh, anywhere from 3.5 to 3.8 volts. If you go down to 3.8 volts, uh, if you go, well, 3.7 maybe be better to set at that. When you land at 3.7 and your battery comes back up, it'll usually come back up to around 3.8, maybe a little more than that, which is storage voltage. Of course, you don't get nearly as much flight time. Uh, you can safely run them down to around 3.5 volts, maybe a little less than that. Once, once your LiPo battery, depending on the size of it, gets below 3.5, then it starts rapidly discharging and a lot faster than it would if it was char fully charged. Uh, you could be at 3 volts within minutes. So that's dangerous. That's when your, your quadcopter starts falling out of the air when it's 3, three volts per cell. Um, and then damage to the battery starts happening also, which is not as bad as <laughs> as the quadcopter falling out the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a compass calibration uh, on most all uh, um, Walkera devices. Um, it's both sticks down in, in the into the inside, and then we'll wait for this one's down into the outs. Well, that's arming. Hold on a second. There we go. Down into the inside, the status LED will start blinking. We're going to go 360 degrees. You might not be able to see it on the camera. In this direction. And then we're going to go 360 this direction. And then we're going to go 360 on the flat plane. And then we're going to set it down and wait till the blinking status LED gets done. And then we're going to cycle the power. Now, this compass calibration is only for the Walkera based systems. Uh, an APM, you would be calibrating one time on missing planner and, and you wouldn't do a dance like this outside without being connected to Mission Planner. Uh, you don't want to calibrate the compass on, an, uh, on a Walkera flight controller with Mission Planner. It doesn't damage anything, but it doesn't get the compass set right. And it also turns off a setting in the params called Compass Learn. Compass Learn is a Walkera flight controller based setting that is built into their firmware. It works on APM also, but it is tuned to work specifically on a Walkera. And what that means is, if you have drift in loiter, or you know, if it's not landing right where it's supposed to be in return to launch, then what you'll do is fly around for five minutes and stabilize. And Compass Learn will allow the, the uh, compass or the flight controller to learn the offsets of the area where you are as it's flying around and then you would check loiter if loiter's holding position you're good to go if not you need to re you know land and redo the compass calibration um so what i'm gonna do is arm we get a, a solid red light we have a gps lock of two blinks which looks like i lost it and we'll get up to a hover Now I need to do some, 
some trim to tuning here because the wind is blowing pretty good out here there we go all right now that's stabilized I'm gonna put it in loiter okay and it's turning hmm shouldn't be doing that what's it doing turned 45 degrees when I went into loiter that's and it stopped as if it was gonna circle let me see something here loiter again and now it's turning again all the way around hmm I would think that is a bad compass calibration we also have a status LED out on the arms just notice well that thing's just gonna keep turning so the compass is not calibrated so in this in this case I'm gonna fly around a little bit And now I'm going to come back down to a, about a 10 or 20 foot hover and check loiter again and see if we're turning in a circle. Yes. Hmm. Well, return to launch is working right. Let me straighten it back up and see how it comes back and lands. Something's going on with loiter, and I think it might not be loiter. I think I might be tripping circle because it is definitely doing circle mode as if it's perfectly doing circle mode yeah see return to land is working like it's supposed to it'd be turning circles right now if the compass wasn't right Okay, so that's working. It's doing a circle. It's doing circle mode. So let me land it and go look at Mission Planner. Let's go look and see if I'm right. Nope, it's going into loiter. pointing in the right direction. I guess I need to do a restart on it after flying around a little while see if that gets the compass calibration correct. Let's go sit. Let's go try a restart because it's landed and pointed in the right direction. I mean that's the, that's the direction it's pointing in on the map. So what I'm going to do, you do not have to turn the transmitter off at this point. As long as the transmitter stays on, we can unplug and plug back in. 